Recently, a Minneapolis man stormed into his local Target demanding to see a manager. As he angrily waved one of Target's mailers, he exclaimed that it was filled with coupons for baby clothes and cribs, addressed and sent to his teenage daughter. He stated, are you trying to encourage her to get pregnant? Only with a few more words I can't repeat. <laughs> a few days later, the manager called to apologize and the father answered, embarrassed stating he'd just found out his new grandchild was due in six months. <laughs> According to Time Magazine of February 17, 2012, Target has figured out how to data mine its way into your womb using predictive analytics, which according to Forbes Magazine of February 24, 2012, is the process of extracting data and analyzing it to predict future trends and behaviors. The idea of predictive analytics is not new. However, CNBC of October 10th, 2012 states, what is new is how more industries across the board are embracing the technique, creating what is expected to be a $32 billion industry by the end of 2013. Companies are looking at your online behavior, preferred brands, reading habits, and even bank transactions. Super creepy. <laughs> then using this private data to predict our future actions and tailoring the way they treat us ultimately altering our future life path, all without us even realizing it. In order to further understand predictive analytics, we must look at the process, applications, and implications of what the New York Times of February 16, 2012 predicts is a technique letting businesses say, we will know what you want even before you do. We create 2.5 quintillion bytes of new data every day. That's 18 zeros. <laughs> If bytes were buckets of water, it would only take 20 weeks of data collection to fill all of the Earth's oceans. In order to understand how this data is used, we must first look at the development of predictive analytics and then the current analytic process used to make predictions. Banks were one of the first to use predictive analytics, awarding customers points and then adding them together to determine credit score. Soon, retailers began using shopper cards and reward keychains to put tailored coupons on the back of our grocery receipts. However, now, with our society's webification of everything, we've entered the age of big data, which the New York Times of February 11, 2012 states is the march of quantification due to enormous new sources that provide large volumes and varieties of data at incredible speeds. However, advancements in data collection outpaced data analyzing methods, overwhelming industries and making the information useless. Enter. IBM, who recently revolutionized the analytic process by combining regression and, and microprocessors. Regression is the statistical technique for estimating relationships among variables. For example, if I look at the behavior of five of my friends, I know that if they celebrate Thirsty Thursday, only one of them will go to their Friday morning class. <laughs> Therefore, I can conclude that 20% of people who go out on Thursday nights will show up in class on Friday mornings. This is a basic example. However, now, companies are comparing an infinite number of variables, much like Target, who according to Forbes magazine of February 24, 2012, used advanced microprocessors to find unique trends among pregnant women, discovering they load up on calcium supplements in their first 20 weeks, hand sanitizer close to their due date, and thousands of variables in between. So Target looks for anyone fitting these patterns, allowing them to know which of their customers is pregnant, and then send coupons, emails, and ads timed to specific stages of her pregnancy. Who needs an OBGYN when you've got Target? <laughs> <laughs> now Google uses predictive analytics to know which of their staff is most likely to quit, even before they know they'll want to leave allowing Google to put a retention process in place, or hand out a pink slip, proving this predictive power goes far beyond marketing, with fascinating applications in entertainment and public health. Doubters say this technique is a fantasy. However, now that's exactly what fantasy land is. Disney World is using predictive analytics to uniquely personalize your vacation. Upon arrival, you're fitted with a My Magic Plus wristband, that holds your credit card information, park ticket, and tracks your behavior in minute by minute detail, from what you buy, to what lines you wait in, to what characters you snub. 
Then, as the New York Times of January 17, 2013 states, the magic happens. The band alerts you when there are short lines at other attractions you may like. And as you near Disney characters, it sends them your information in real time, allowing Cinderella to greet you by name as you approach her, delighting children everywhere, and me. <laughs> <laughs> Disney has forever served as a logistics innovator, with even the U.S. Army adopting some of its transportation techniques. And they're hoping predictive analytics follow suit. As the Disney chairman told the aforementioned New York Times, when Disney makes a move, it moves culture. Additionally, predictive analytics is working to protect our health. With the U.S. in one of the worst flu seasons of all time, Google created flu trends. According to CNN of January 30th, 2013, Google analyzes search terms and tweets to make real-time estimates of where the flu will flare up next. <coughs> this is how Kansas, our nationals location, appears on flu trends. Moderate flu activity. And lucky for us, nationals is not in January. <laughs> also, the BBC just announced a data plan in which the UK will collect the DNA of 100,000 people with rare diseases and cancer so they can search for genetic trends. The BBC of January 30th, 2013 states, individual citizen DNA will be compared against these dangerous trends, allowing them to know who is most at risk so they can proactively change their lifestyle of getting screened, as well as know which drugs are toxic in people with a similar genetic makeup. And as the previously cited BBC asserts, this database could herald a new era of medicine. The travel website Orbitz found Mac users were willing to spend 30% more on hotel rooms. So, to increase revenues, they don't show Mac users the best deals. And as its uses continue to expand, even President Barack Obama is working to protect the technique. Predictively, this leads to two implications. Initially, following current laws may neuter these methods in a way which prevents them from averting crime. Privacy law means our names cannot be attached to our data. So instead, companies attribute our data to ID numbers, only identifiable to them. This limits potential. The Wall Street Journal of July 24, 2012 states, Colorado shooter James Holmes dropped out of school via email, purchased bomb-making equipment with a credit card, and made online orders for large quantities of ammunition. But because these transactions occurred under different ID numbers, they were impossible to analyze together. The advanced techniques of predictive analytics could justify the implementation of identity-specific mass data collection, allowing us to algorithmically detect an attack in the planning stages, an incentive certain to muddy the ever-continuing debate over the battle between civil liberties and national security. Additionally, as companies' confidence grows in the accuracy of predictive analytics, this information is poised to become the preferred measure of societal worth. The Atlantic of February 7, 2012 states, the data collected about you forms a reputation. The significance of tailored messages and offers goes far beyond whether or not the targeted person buys the product. They serve as status signals, alerting people as to their societal position. As predictive analytics divides populations, offers different opportunities, and even penalizes based on algorithms, Many would scream discrimination, but unlike discrimination based on race, age, or sexual orientation, which allow groups to rally against the majority, predictive analytics isolates each individual with the perfect defense, mathematics, a socially accepted justification grounded in objectivity, meaning predictive analytics will do more than affect our quality of life, but who gets to enjoy it? This past August, a male teammate of mine received a coupon book from Macy's for ties, suits, and dress shoes. Predictive Analytics even knows when the speech season starts. <laughs> IBM's partner, Presidian, puts it best when they state, 2013 is the year of predictive analytics. After looking at the process, applications, and implications, it's clear that if this predictive technology continues to advance, we could learn more about human behavior than we ever imagined but we'll also find out if there is such a thing as too much information. <laughs>